Ok, recentré, 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 We have the presentations of the PhD students first. And uh, I, for those who are new, um, in the morning we already had a uh, session um, about the industry partners, <laughs> the role of the chair in the uh, French uh, European ecosystem. Um, if you missed it, um, on the website, Cybersyn IFR, uh, which is given here on the left, for instance, uh, you find the live stream, so there you can uh, watch it once again. Um, uh, this was a very interesting session with uh, short uh, testimonials uh, from the industry partners and the region and uh, the PEC and also the IMT Atlantique and uh, the afternoon session is now uh, dedicated, uh, not afternoon session, I was the afternoon session, the after coffee break session is now dedicated to the research. So, um, the moment he arrives, we'll have uh, Jerome Triadi, who is a regional councillor to, uh, to, uh, um, uh, to the digital transformation. He's uh, dedicated uh, to that. Um, he's an elected member of the uh, French uh, Council. Um, I'll probably switch the two because Jerome will still arrive, so I will start then with the research activities of the chair, giving you a brief introduction. And uh, then we have the uh, PhD students with 90 seconds per thesis, which is of course very challenging, but at the same time it gives you a very good and very concise overview. And as I said it in the morning, on the website of the chair you find much longer presentations, presentations of 20 minutes of each uh, research topic. And so uh, yeah, do not hesitate uh, to have a look there to watch also these uh, longer presentations. And uh, this also to present you the president of the chair, Serge Maurice, uh, who's just arriving. Okay, good. And at the end, uh, not at the end, but in the second part, we have the round table. So we already have the chairs here for the round table, uh, which will be on the topic how safe our critical infrastructures on the current geopolitical circumstances. Um, yeah, more to that in about 25 minutes. Um, yeah, so Jerome uh, will speak the moment he arrives, and he'll get his five minutes. And uh, now let me give you a brief introduction to the research topics that we have at the chair. Um, so I organized the chair in five axes. Uh, the three first are the classical cybersecurity domains, uh, security by design. I want to secure everything as much as possible in advance of running a system, um, and also in anticipation of what will be happening. Um, but I cannot anticipate everything because it might be that my system is in an environment where there are other systems that I've never thought of that they could be there. It might be that my system interacts with humans and so on. And therefore we need a dynamic part for also maintaining our resilience, having cybersecurity during operation of a system. And this is the second part that we detect anomalies. So we look at does the system behave in the way that I want or not. If we detect it does not, or it might not, uh, then we have mitigate. So what can we do? Um, how can we put the system again in a state that we uh, want to have? And the third X, and for all this, we use uh, the algorithms that I put here at the bottom. So current uh, passwords are machine learning, of course, and uh, distributed ledgers and digital twins. And uh, so all of this uh, we apply, of course, in uh, these research directions. And then we have a uh, a fourth research direction, which is a, a, vertical, uh, a vertical topic for me, or horizontal, however you put it, because all the other mechanisms here, they require some interaction with users. Because when you do cybersecurity, you have to have situational awareness, you have, you have to have um, risk analysis capabilities, so you have to be able to assess what will happen in the system, and you also have to be able to interact with the system in real time for reconfiguring it and putting it again into a state um, that you can use and that you want to have. The challenge is that this is very complex and therefore we use uh, VR, uh, virtual reality technology, and uh, Nicolas will tell us something about that at um, the end. The PhD students at the chair, as I told you in the first session, the chair is always funded in phases of three years and uh, the PhD students always get a contract of the full three years that their PhD takes in France. 
And uh, here we have the students that are still in phase two, are funded by the phase two, and these here are funded by phase three. The only interesting thing about that is that um, the funding of the positions comes from different sources. So in the end, all are present and all are working together on the topics. And uh, yeah, so uh, as Jerome is arriving, um, 